I think all farmers all over the country are very, very aware that the climate is changing. All of us have suffered the effects. So I think everybody knows it's real and that it's happening now. It has a very large and real impact on our bottom line and that we have to figure out how to get ahead of it. And solar power has an obvious part to play in that, in shifting us from fossil fuels to clean renewable energy. So we're all starting to deal with the effects of increased heat and more extreme weather events. Um, how does a farmer grow crops uh, when the, the climate no longer allows it? Yeah, my name is Narendra Varma. I'm the founder and executive director of Our Table Cooperative. We're a 60-acre farm located about 15 miles south of Portland in Sherwood. Narendra came to us and said, we're having trouble growing heat-sensitive crops like lettuce and salad greens in the summer in Oregon. We suggested putting the solar panels up on elevated towers from Stracker Solar, which are made in Oregon. The solar panels follow the sun over the course of the day, giving you more power and shade that moves during the day. Our research partner, Chad Higgins, Professor Chad Higgins from uh, OSU's College of Agricultural Sciences, um, has done some really interesting pioneering research. And so we're creating this solar project here to extend that research opportunity to other crops, specifically lettuce, salad greens. We're looking at how we can make farming systems work with solar so we can continue farming and make sure that the solar remains profitable and the farming remains profitable. Plants can't actually physically use all the sun that they get. Most plants can only use 30 to 50 percent of the light that, they, that, that arrives on them and the rest just goes to warming them up. When you take away the sun strategically, not too much, just the right about. They become de-stressed plants, don't have to cool off, so they use less water. You get an agricultural system that can be just as productive underneath the solar panels, but with um, less physical inputs, so less water and fertilizer, with a sometimes superior product at the end from an agricultural perspective. Secondarily, the solar panels, they get more efficient the colder they are. So when they're operated with lush vegetation under them, it's cooler and they actually produce more, more energy. It's a true synergistic relationship where we can get more food and better food with less water and get more energy out. We're not only producing renewable energy here, but we're storing some of it in batteries so that if the grid goes down, the farm becomes an island of power it, it's always very, very stressful in the winter when we have storms and things. Every year we lose power and because we, like most farms, have cold storage on the farm, there's food that starts to kind of go bad as soon as the power fails. Um, although the energy generation is an immediate benefit and has a, has a really positive impact on our bottom line as a business, it's almost more important for us to have the crop part of it work out because the, the payoff there is much, much larger, potentially. And then, of course, it's always a question, how are you gonna pay for a solar project? We were fortunate in this case to get a grant from PGE's Renewable Development Fund uh, to pay for part of it. And we worked with our table cooperative farm to figure out the financing for the rest of it. And that's what we do. So we are experts in solar financing. We, we know how to make the tax credits work. And so we were able to put together a package for the farm that allows them to install and own this project. It's obvious to me, having done all this work and having done the engineering calculations, that not only is it solar and ag can work together, but together they're, whole, they're greater than the sum of the parts, where we get more out of it. I feel like farmers have always been solar um, harvesters, and I think farms have been you know, on the cutting edge for a lot of technology. Farmers are perfectly positioned to, to lead the charge here.